Hey guys, it's Tiffany Harlick with Hacienda Harlick Honey and the West Texas Beekeepers Guild. Uh, I wanted to come teach a little bit about the refractometer and what we are doing to measure honey. So this summer, right, we've had a lot of people with honey harvests that have a uh, water content that's too high. That means they're pulling the capped honey out of the bee yards with a water content that's too high, that's gonna ferment. And so a lot of people that I'm seeing are having to dehydrate their honey. And that's very, very different from uh, our area where I live and where I harvest honey. It's very desert um, climate, very arid. And so I just wanted to teach a little bit about measuring the water content of honey because no matter where you're watching, you're probably gonna wanna be doing this if you're using um, honey for your personal uses or for market or for the honey show, right? So this is a refractometer. This is what we use to measure the water content in honey. Honey is hygroscopic, which means it's easily it easily absorbs moisture from the air. So uh, if you leave it out in a very humid room, right, it's going to absorb a lot more water. So too much water leads to fermentation, and sometimes that's people's goal, right, if they're making meat or something. It's not my goal. So I don't want to harvest or sell honey that is above a 17.5% water content level. So I'm going to check my honey when I'm in my yards and make sure that I'm pulling it when it's um, at an appropriate range. But a lot of times people just pull their honey because it looks capped and it seems good to go, and then they get home and the water content is too high. So I recommend that you measure your honey in the field and then you measure it again when you're home. Um, to do that, you're just going to put a little drop of honey here and squish it down. It just needs a little bit, doesn't need a whole globbing mess. And then you're going to look through here and you're going to see two scales. One is the Brooks scale and one, I think it says water, water percent. So I'm always looking at the water percent side. Um, what I'm looking for is 17 and percent or lower. Mine this year has been 15.5%, which is super low. And it begs the question, is the refractometer calibrated, right? So how we calibrate it is with olive oil. So extra virgin olive oil should measure at 27% uh, water content. So you just put a drop on here, you close it, and then you look. And if it's, if it's 27, you're good. If it's higher or lower than 27, you just take this tiny screwdriver, it's a flathead, and you make your adjustments and calibrate until it says 27% when you're looking at your extra virgin olive oil, right? So it's really easy. I just calibrated this one. Um, I like to have two or three refractometers on hand and make sure they're calibrated at least once a month, um, but definitely before I'm doing a batch of honey that's for market or for show. It's really just that simple. It looks, I don't think you're gonna be able to see anything in there, but you just look through it and you want to find your moisture content or your water content at 17 and a half percent or lower. If it's higher than that, you're gonna to have to do some stuff to dehydrate your honey. Um, and depending on how much honey you have, you're gonna use some different techniques. I have not had to do that in my area, so I am not the expert on that. But what I have seen people um, doing are things like adding fans, um, trying to dehumidify the room. Uh, some people I've seen put a, a pan of honey in their oven and dehydrate a little bit. That's not going to be uh, workable if you're doing hundreds of pounds of honey, right? So another reason to maybe test in the field. Um, and one of the bee groups, I asked, why would you pull a bunch of honey if you knew that it was going to be too high of a water content? And some of the responses were like, well, this is the only time we can pull honey. So nothing against those people. Every beekeeper manages their yard differently. Uh, I just don't want to pull honey that I know I'm going to have to dehydrate. I'd rather let the bees do that and also not pull it from them if it's just not ready for human consumption, right? Like, I don't want to have to do more work. So um, I also want the bees to have what they need when they need it. So this is kind of a delicate time of year to be harvesting. And I, I just wanted to put out a little video so you knew what a refractometer was. It comes in these little cases. You can find them for 20 bucks on Amazon. Um, it's fun, kind of fun, sciencey thing to do to drop a little bit of honey on there. And that is how you calibrate it. And that is what you're looking for. It is super easy. Uh, I hope this helps somebody make sure that they have their water content right in their honey. Um, a lot of times people think that 
uh, water content has to do with crystallization, it, it does not. Um, not every honey does crystallize. A lot does, but it has to do with the glucose ratio and not the water content ratio. So there's a lot of fun things to learn about honey and honey production. If you enjoyed that, please like and subscribe and stick around for more videos. Thanks so much, guys, and happy beekeeping.